from the Organization for Religions, Education and Democracy. I'm joined in studio by Hans Peterson. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me. Now, many people in the country are talking about you as you have a very interesting case against certain ministers and cer certain schools in the country. Yeah. Why don't you explain these to us, please? Right. As far as we are concerned, uh, what is happening in schools in South Africa, and not all schools, but in too many schools, is that religion is given, or, or a certain sectarian view is given, a preference over all other religions. And that to us is wrong. It's against uh, the Constitution. So the case is not about taking religion away from schools, not at all. It's about giving equal space to all religions in schools. What has been happening over the last couple of years is that um, some schools have taken themselves, um, have granted themselves the right to call themselves, for example, a Christian school, which then automatically places a burden on anybody else who is not a Christian who happens to be in the school. And they would say nice, coy words like, everybody else is welcome, of course, because they pay school fees, but uh, you have to sign, the, the parents actually have to sign in some cases that they don't mind the child being brought up in a Christian ethos, for example. What is also important is that this is not an action against Christianity at all. Uh, Christianity is as valid as anybody, anybody else's religion in terms of the, the Constitution. So we don't want Christianity out, or we don't, we're not fighting with Christianity as such. We want equal space, equal, we want the children of any religion to be equally welcome in a school, to be equally um, treated in, in, the, in the school. So the fight's not against Christianity at all. It just so happens to be that the parents who came to us with, with examples and the parents who were willing to stand up and call to happen to be all from schools calling themselves Christian. But it could have been any other school as well. Well, let's address some of that criticism mm. that you have received. Um, for instance, Anton Alberts, who's the parliamentary spokesperson for mm -hmm. the Freedom Front Plus, said that um, your move is a witch hunt on Christendom. I don't know where this comes from. I, I, I think it's a blow over from the American evangelical movement who like to cry wolf. You know, there's this witch hunt on, witch hunt on Christianity. Not at all. I mean, Christians are the majority in the, in the, in the country. Uh, there is uh, um, Christian, there are Christians that are being, um, what's the word I'm looking for, um, aggressively opposed in some countries, but certainly not in South Africa. I mean, in South Africa, Christians happen to have the upper hand, uh, and that's actually part of the problem. They, they don't consider other people. They don't even acknowledge them. They, they sometimes uh, label them very negatively. So when somebody then stands up against this, then suddenly it's this witch hunt on Christianity. It's absolutely not true. Um, I think it's a, it's a marketing ploy in some, some cases. In other cases, it's simply paranoia taking over. 